When we talk about Earth's history, it's hard to comprehend just how long 4.6 billion years is. To make this immense timeline more manageable, geologists have developed what is known as the geologic timescale. The geologic timescale is essentially a calendar of Earth's history based on the rock record from Earth's crust. When geologists or Earth scientists want to piece together the history of the Earth, they often look at layers of rock known as strata. Rocks and sediment pile up over time, with the oldest layers on the bottom and the youngest layers on the top. By examining these layers, scientists can gather important clues about what Earth was like in the past. In these rock layers, scientists often find fossils, preserved remains, or traces of animals, plants, and other organisms from the past. The type of fossils found in a layer can tell us much about what kind of life existed when the layer was formed. For example, if we find a dinosaur fossil, we know that layer was formed when dinosaurs were alive. We also use the rock layers to establish relative ages of events in Earth's history, meaning we can determine which events happened before others. So, for instance, if we see a layer with dinosaur fossils below a layer with mammal fossils, we can conclude that the age of dinosaurs came before the age of mammals. It's important to note that while this method is great for figuring out the order of events, it does not provide exact dates or durations of these events. This is why it provides a relative timeline, not an absolute one. Different layers, and the fossils they contain, also provide evidence for major events in Earth's history. These events can range from the formation of mountain chains and ocean basins, the evolution or extinction of particular species, to significant volcanic eruptions. By placing these events in their correct order on the geologic timescale, we can better understand Earth's past and how it has evolved.